Well, hello there. Welcome to Lesson 12 in your Algebra 1 Math textbook. Lesson 12 is going to cover prime numbers and composite numbers, and then something called products of primes. So, just what is a composite number and a prime number? Well, composite is um, made up of more than a couple of things. So, a composite number is any whole number that has more than two factors. Now let's go back and think about what a factor is. A factor is a number that will divide in two evenly with no remainders. Okay, and so for example, 18. 18 is a composite number because um, it has, let's see, 1 and 18 are factors, and 2 and 9 are factors, and 3 and 6. So 18 has lots of factors, so it is a composite number. The same is true with 24 and 35. And it only has to have more than 2 to be a composite. It could have just 3 factors, but it, um, if it has more than 2, it's, it is a composite. So then, on the opposite side, what is a prime number? Well, a prime number is any whole number uh, greater than one that has only two factors. And that would be one and itself. Now, gives you some examples. Two, two is the only, only, only even number that will be a prime number. All the rest will be odd numbers, but that does not mean that all odd numbers are going to be prime. And we'll, we'll see in just a moment why. If you'll go to the next screen. Okay, 31 is a prime number because it has exactly two factors, the numbers 1 and 31. But 32, on the other hand, an even number, is a composite number because it has more than two factors. In fact, it has a total of six factors, just like um, 18 did. Okay, go to the next page. And if you'll look here, just like on the top of uh, page 39 in your textbook, um, except this goes way farther than that, um, I have listed for you all of the prime numbers up to the number 173. So definitely all of the ones that you're going to be using most of the time. So these are prime numbers from 2 to 173. Okay. Um, you'll notice that here we go from 23 to 29. Well, 25 and 27 are both odd numbers and they are between these two, but they are not prime. And that is because 25 has another factor, 1 and 25 and 5. So if it has three factors, it is composite. 27 has 1 and 27, but it also has 3 and 9. So it has four factors, so it is definitely a composite number. So that's what I meant when I said that not all um, odd numbers are prime, but 2 is the only even number that is prime. Okay, the next frame, please. All right, now you may have seen this referred to as factor trees. Um, or factoring for products of primes. That's what your book calls it, products of primes. And this is taking um, a number and breaking it down all the way down, dividing, dividing, into um, all of its prime factors. So for instance, 24, well we know 6 times 4, is 24 and then 6 breaks down into prime factors of 2 times 3 and 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. 
So we can say that the prime factorization or product of primes of the number 24 is 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. Alright, and it doesn't matter. This is just to show you that it doesn't matter how you do that multiplication. It's going to still break down the same way. You've got 2, 3, 2, 2. Even though you divided by, instead of 6 and 4, you said 12 times 2. You still break each one down until you can't go any further until it's all uh, prime numbers. Okay, next brain. So this is an example of a little bit larger number with more factors. 72 breaks down into 8 times 9. 8 is 2 times 4 and 9 is 3 times 3. Well, 3 times 3, those are both prime numbers and the 2 here is a prime number but this 4 will break down. It is not prime so it is 2 times 2. So we can say the prime factorization of 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, and that'll equal 72. Alright, next spring. Alright, your practice problems. This says write each number as a product of primes. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to break it down just like we did um, on the last couple of pages. So I like to do mine like um, like this. You can do it like the tree, but I like to do mine like this. Alright, so I'm going to start with 2, and 2 will go into 12 six times, and then 0, and 2 will also go into 60 30 times, and 2 will go into 30 15 times, now 2 won't go into 15, but 3 will, and 3 times 5. So I can say that 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 equals 120. Okay, let's go on to B. Okay, let's do 640, a little bit bigger. We do the same process. 2 will go into 6 3 times. 2 will go into 4 2 times, and 0. Alright, now 2 will go into 3 1 time, and into 12 6 times, and 0. 2 will go into 16 8 times, and bring down that 0. 2 will go into 80 40 times. 2 will go into 40 20 times, 2 will go into 20 10 times, and 2 will go into 10 5 times, and I'm down to all prime numbers. So I can say that the product of um, primes of 640 is, let's see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to say 2 times 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 5 equals 640. And go to the last. Okay, so for our last one, I'm going to say 2 will go into 2 one time and into 5 two times with one left over to 12 six times and then break down that zero. And then two will go into 12 six times. We'll go into six three times and then bring the zero down. Two will go into six three times. Into three one time with one left over. And into two five times. Now this one's not divisible by two, but it is divisible by so let's see, 3 will go into 3 one time, it will not go into 1, but it will go into 15 5 times. Alright, and we know from our divisibility rules that 105 is divisible by 3 because 5 plus 1 is 6, which is divisible by 3, so let's keep on with 3. 3 
three will go into ten three times with one left over, and it will go into fifteen five times. All right, now three won't go into thirty-five, so I know five will, and five times seven is thirty-five, and I'm down to all prime numbers. So that I can say that the prime factorization or product of primes um, is two times two times two times three times three times five times seven equal to two thousand five hundred. Great job. This is a great lesson and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for um, Lesson 13.